this video we'll be looking at how to play Little Ball of Bly by Sam Fender. Stand in tune in, Capo on the 6th fret. This song starts with an E major chord relative to Capo. We're going to play the low E string, we're going to play D, G and B together, and we'll play those one after the other. So bass note, three strings. One and two and three and four and. For the intro we play this four times, and two and three and four and second time, two, three and four and third time. We start the verse off on our E major chord for two beats, one and two and, then we go to our second chord in the song, an A sus two chord. We've got a second finger on the D string at the second fret, third finger at the second fret of G string. We're going to pick the A string, followed by D, G and B, and repeat that. So we've got E, one and two and, then to our A sus two, one and two and, back to E major for a full bar, one and two and three and four and. Repeat that section, so E and 2 and A, back to E for a full bar, then we go to A for a full bar, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and back to E for a full bar, 1 2 and 3 and 4 and, and then we go to our third chord in the song, which is a B sus 4 chord. So we've got first finger on the A string at the 2nd fret, third finger, 4th fret the D, and pinky finger, 4th fret the G, open B. I'm going to play the A string at the 2nd fret. Then the D, G and B together, one and two and, then go down to our A sus two, three and four and, and back through our E major chord, one and two and three and four and. Well that's the whole pattern for the verse. So E, and two and A, E. B, one and two and A, E. Full bar of A, full bar of E, B, a, full bar V. And that repeats for the verse. There's a lot of picking variations in this song. I'm going to show you the basic picking pattern that Sam uses and some of the variations too. So for the picking pattern, when we're playing E chord, we'll be playing E string of our thumb and then the D string of our thumb in an alternating pattern. So E, D, E, D, E, D, E, D. When we go to the A, it'll be A, D, A, D, A, D, A, D. For the B, A, D, A, D. Okay, so for the E, for the first chord, we're going to play the low E string with the thumb, then D and G together, so we'll play D with the thumb and G string with our first finger on our right hand. Then back to the bass, and pick the high E string straight after, so. Then to the D string with the thumb. That's the basic picking pattern. Just to show you a close-up of the right hand, we've got E string on the thumb, D string with thumb, first finger, puts the D string, back with the thumb on the low E, third finger, plays the high E, thumb on the D. So we go through the pattern once on the E major chord, then we go to our A sus 2 chord, same exact picking, except for we're going to pick the A instead of the E string, so A, D and G together, A, high E, D. Now back to the E chord, this time twice through the pattern. Repeat from the start, so E, A, back to the E chord twice. And we're going to go through the A chord twice. Then through the E chord twice. To our third chord, the B sus four chord, we've got exactly the same picking as for the A chord. So A, D and G together, A high E, D, down to the A, one through the pattern, we finish on the E major chord, twice through. So the whole pattern, E, A, E twice, repeat, E, A, E. A twice, E twice, B once, A once, E twice.
You'll notice sometimes on the song that Sam puts his pinky finger down on the second fret of the G string to make the E major into an E sus four chord. Same strumming, always resolves to an E major chord. For more Sam Fender tutorials, please check out this link here. Any requests, let me know in the comments. Good luck with this one, happy practicing, and take care.